So we're going to game one straight away. We got Antares versus um, Super Cuts. That'd be had honestly. We got um, Go! very, very good players. Um, it looks like um. And Tarps is often to go corn in this matchup, and obviously Supercuts doesn't play a lot of characters, um, but he's going with the, um, as per usual, the villager with the purple shirt on. That's really, honestly my one of my favorites. I think it's a fan favorite, to be honest. Um, Alright, so right now we're just going to keep on flowing with this solo commentary until we get something running, but right now, pretty close game right now, only 3% separating the both of them, and Flippy's not going to kill exactly. And I'm going to be joined by one of UMA's finest in the region. UMA's finest Buster. Buster. His name is Buster. It's his real name. His real name is Buster. No, I'm kidding. I don't well, know. My, my first name is Ninth Place. My second name is Buster. Ninth Place Buster. I like it, I like it, but just like that, I think that was a counter and it killed him. Maybe it was a grab. I didn't really see it because I looked away from the screen, but right I think, now... I yeah, I thought a stuff. bowling ball happened, but I just realized that Villager is the one missing a stock. Yeah, so, I'm so I, I think it was a bowling ball to a counter. Right? Yeah. Just a whole lot of hit lag going on. And um, Jab, obviously, very, it comes out really quickly. A lot of, um, you know, not a lot of any lag money. Yeah. You can jab and do a throw off of it yeah. more often than not. It's just good, like, sort of free pressure to throw out and then... Just sort of read an option out of it. Exactly, exactly. He gets the pin. Ooh. Misses the. Um, Confirm. The, the pin. No, the, the stun to the pin. That's yeah. The stun the pin. Stun the pin. RHK has all the questions for that. Yeah. For you or PM? For, for PM, ask RHK. Everything in tournament related is RHK. Anyway, so. Didn't really see what happened there, but. We're still here. Some, some corn stuff on the platform. Hey, and back. then the nest back throw junior. Yeah, the the balanced one that actually has like that actually extra that actually has extra lag to it. Yeah, and yeah, you can't really act out of it if you um, it afterwards. That made me mad. Able to catch him with the back throw there, and let's see if Corn can keep him off stage. Good jump to just sort of realize, okay, my pressure messed up. I'm just getting out of here. And try to get him on a tech chase there, but wasn't able to. I like the positioning on that jump where it was just sort of put him in a place to either land safely or just react to whatever Cuts wanted to do. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. I can agree with you on that. But first game is going to go to um, Antarx. It's Corrin now really showing it. Really showing it. What is, what is to be done? Matchup. I want to see if I can switch to this. I noticed some great recovery coming out from the Corrin too, where it's like. It's such a horizontal recovery that if you get knocked down just an inch, it can be your life. And Villager does sets up such a minefield where to get back can be a miracle sometimes, but Antarps was making it work. And they're often going to go to the same stage again. Supercuts is like, you know what? I was in that game for, for the first stock, and you know what? I think I just a couple bad options here and there in the second game, and I feel like, you know what? I didn't lose entirely when we went back to Kaiser. Yeah. So, it wasn't a blowout. There's nothing to be uncomfortable about the stage. No, I like what Entarps did to an extent. He wanted to get rid of the balloon, so he used a huge hitbox of the up B, but yeah. it sent him upwards instead. Yeah. No, Valiant attack nonetheless, but... I think the main flaw to trying that option is that um, once you pop both of the balloons, Villager actually like flies up just a tiny bit. Oh yeah. So you need to sort of put a hitbox that just exists and stops existing once the balloons are gone, or else you're gonna catch Villager with it and just give him his up B back. And um, Supercut's having a really hard time getting back on stage as Antarps is covering basically every single option that he's trying to offer. Yeah, platform coming in to give him some more options, get him off the 
ledge, but... And Supercut's finally able... Oh, never mind, I was gonna say, he's finally able to establish neutral again, but... Yeah. Bit of a smash. Bit of a lapse in the MU to just be like... Because that's that's not a bad option to do against pretty much any other character, but... It is, it is. M very few other characters have... That ability where they can jump and Yeah, they, 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 don't, so they don't have a tipper move that reaches at that exact angle. So... Supercut's still can definitely win this. He can get a, if he gets a quick kill here, he definitely ends up getting um, in his favor. Not in his favor, but he's still on the shot. Yeah. It's definitely not out of control, and if anything, he's keeping it in control quite well. Yeah, he's not, um, and, um, he's not getting a lot of extra credit, which is good. Yeah. Though, 36 is... That's sort of that threshold where it's like, you can afford that, but now you're getting to those orange numbers. And yeah, the, once you get to the orange, yeah. it's like, alright, yeah. it's getting kind of dangerous right now. You want to right keep your hues in check. Especially because the top player like Gum and Carbs in the ranked, I think, number yeah. 11th on any PR, so... You have to get rid of the stock now, maybe yeah. get a back throw, or get a really good kill off here, like a tree setup or something. Yeah. Like, you don't really Just get... Just like that. Yeah, you don't really get to where Entarps is without knowing how to hold a lead, so... And, and Entarps, too, he's gonna throw out something there, because he's desperate for the skills, so he went for the counter, and he got some more percentage on. Yeah. And he's having a hard time getting this kill off for it. Because, I mean, Villager's... Villager's staple is how well he can force you in, but when you don't need to get in... Doesn't matter, but he gets a yeah. stun. Try to throw it back on stage. Just really I liked the that. rocket to just sort of because he's at such high percent. There was a decent chance that his invincibility might wear off. Oh yeah. So with the rocket hovering there, it could have gone for a cheeky stage spike. Gets a stun. I yeah. feel like he should be more patient once he pockets the stun. Just sort yeah, of. Yeah, don't use it immediately. Kind of wait yeah. to get perfect time and then go. Because for it. I'm pretty sure Villager has like a minute or so after he pockets something before it disappears. I think it doesn't it last forever. Uh, no, because oh, um, it? if you watch a uh, Villager versus Diddy, and they pocket the banana and good stuff from yeah. Oh yeah, it's on. Yes. Um, um, okay. Okay. All right, so you go over one. All right. Oh, no, maybe this Yeah. Top three. Okay. So yeah, what I was. Huh? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. The the hot knowledge I was dropping a second ago was um, when you watch Villager versus Diddy, mm -hmm. and they pocket the banana, you'll see them unpocket it and re.